Hello everybody, today we're doing Wrong World again. I've done a little bit since uh, I played last. I went ahead and built a little more home. Uh, so that was done, just to kind of jump ahead a little bit. Not much, don't worry, I didn't do too much without you guys, but as you see here I have a 4x4 home and I changed its roof. I found out I could actually do that, I didn't know. Um, and I'm going to show you guys some stuff with construction mode now. Here we can change the color of the walls completely. The roof, the wood, and the skirting. So if we don't want a blue or a red roof, we want a blue roof, we can do that. So for the walls, let's tinker around a little bit here and see what we can do about making the game more unique to us. Let's make... Uh, how about some green walls? It'll blend in with the surroundings a little. Or, you know, even a red wall like stucco, we could do something cool. That's hot pink. That is not red. Oh, see, like there, it's kind of cool. I like that. Um, and then the roof here. Let's go ahead and do a blue roof. Uh, and the skirting will make it uh, uh, just slightly, slightly green there. Not an ugly green, though. Let's make it a nice green, shall we? Yeah, it's nice. That's better. So, now that that is done, I don't know how well that took, but we're going to see. Because I'm going to uh, basically open. Ta-da! Open that one up. My goal here now is to decide where the last two parts of the home go. Do I want lengthwise like this, which is what I'm probably going to end up doing. And that'll be basically then one square here and one here. And that'll be the home. And then I put a flagpole up. Uh, because a funny thing happened. And by funny, I mean horribly stupid on my part. You also see I've made my guy a little mask. He has got armor on. He looks like an Ewok with an axe. So basically an axe-murdering Ewok. So that's fun for the family. And we are going to try and do a few different things today. You'll notice my food is on top of the line. So we're mushroom hunting while we're out. Uh, the developer himself told me uh, on the Discord, and again, if you guys own this game, get on the Discord. Everybody's super, super friendly there. Probably one of the nicest Discords I've had the pleasure of joining is Wrong World, so everybody's really nice there. So get on there if you have questions. They don't spoil things either. I will not let anybody spoil things. Because apparently this game has all sorts of little mysteries and uh, some different things about it that you discover as you play it. I don't want to know them. I want to learn them with you guys. So I don't know them yet. I don't. I have seen a statue that apparently needs something. I'm guessing water. But I don't know for sure. Put in this little basin in the base of it. There is a Yeti down there. But no, what happened is, as I was wandering around, I was going to shoot a Let's Play a few days ago. I started it. Uh, it. It was an off day. I'm sure all of you have had them, especially if you yourself have a YouTube channel. You know what I mean. You got a day you're not on. You don't feel good about the way the Let's Play is going. You're just... I don't know, no jokes are working, nothing's funny. Probably half this channel, honestly, but humor me. Humor me, at least make me feel like I'm funny. But uh, no, genuinely, it was like just... It was a very boring Let's Play, and I didn't want to waste my time or your time with that. I try to at least be doing something. Oh, sh I did not want to be out after dark right now, but we are already getting the trees, so we're just doing this. We're doing this. We're doing this. We're getting wood. Uh, and then most of the time at night now, I am able to at least... And I don't care, I'm chopping this tree too. We're getting it right now. 
because I'm not coming back up this hill for a while. Not that there's any huge reason not to, I suppose. I don't know why I said it like that all prophetic or dick like the trees. I don't know why I said it like that, basically, is what I'm saying. Okay, so 18. I need two more, and then I could get my last two spaces with those. So we will look for other little things now. The reason one why I... Uh, I will tell you an unsung hero for your home building is that damn little flagpole. You, you think I'm messing with you, but I am not messing with you. I actually lost my way in this game, and it's easier to do than you think. Now, that area there is a radioactive area that you will see. There are these cool little teleporting cat creatures, and they're every bit as cool as they sound. But they will also kick your ass very quickly if you're not careful, and I, I can't stress that enough. They do not play. You will get an ass kicking. Now, the Yetis are huge, but they're honestly not as tough as they look, so we're going to kill one of these guys. Uh, leather, we need leather, so let's get some leather from the Yeti, if he's going to give us leather. If he gives us meat, I'll take anything at this point. You can see my health took a hit. Uh, I got swarmed by slug creatures and managed to make it out alive, but wasn't the best situation, I'll say. I should have been a little smarter. Um, and how I handled them, but I did not handle them well. There was no zigging or zagging, there was just trying to be Conan with them. That shit was not going down, so. Now we are where we are. This is part four of our series. You guys wanted a series, and I thought, what better series than a funny game? Uh, ugh, God, I don't want to leave any orb behind. I'm going to leave the acorn behind instead for now. I would rather not leave anything behind. You gotta pick and choose, and you gotta pick and choose. The one thing I do like about Wrong World that I do have to say, and I think it's important to note, I'll call it a feature. I don't know if it's supposed to be a feature or just something to know, but I call it a feature, is that you can leave stuff on the ground and it just stays. So if you come back for something you couldn't carry, you can come back and get it then. And I do like that I can do that. Uh, we are trying to make our way to my house. Again. What the hell am I doing? I should be hitting these rocks very quickly here. Just hit the rock like a crackhead. It's a horrible joke. Don't ever repeat that joke, people, please. I don't want angry parents writing me on this channel. Although, if you're letting your child decide that their role model is a weird stranger wearing a mask, then you probably have other issues you need to address within yourself as well, so... Don't be judging me for that shit. Alright, now, one thing I did is pick a weird area to build my home, and that was not accidental. You see that giant-ass guy there? Uh, let's take a look for a moment, guys, at the roof. Now, the roof... Uh, it's not quite perfect, no. I've not rotated this well enough, I'll fix that later. But I do like that off the, off the cuff here, I was able to rotate the roof. That part was pretty cool. Okay, okay, now see, I was probably supposed to, like, do something different. To, oh, okay, I didn't apply any of this, so... Let's uh, goof around with this for a minute, we'll try applying it. What did I have there? I had that, right? Uh, the roof, we wanted a beautiful blue. The skirting, we wanted a kind of turquoise. So now I'll hit apply. And voila, look at how fast, guys. We're going to come out here and boom. Now that is much more my style. If I were going to pick a house, that's more of like... That's the shit I'd go with right there, so... Uh, first of all, so that I can get a better idea of where I'm going. Oh, I will not let me see the park. Yeah, well, okay. okay. This roof is it. Fuck this tile all up. What did I do? I don't know. <laughs> it's just door. Uh, 
know the developer's got to be cringing. Come on, man, don't mess with my repo. Sorry. I'll fix it, I promise. Uh, Alright, so we got this. So that this here is our unsung hero, the flagpole. And do not underestimate this ship by any means. This thing is very necessary. I think we're going to put our other two blocks here if we can. We're going to get them done as quick as we can because I got other stuff that I w would like to build. Um, and I've seen people do their house lengthwise. I've seen people do their house otherwise. As in not lengthwise. I want to do lengthwise for a good reason. And that is basically just... Bicycle, what am I out of? I need both. Alright. So for now, these can stay there. Nothing fancy there. And then I'll plug it all in after. Oh, oh, that's not good. Teleporting cat creature. Remember I was telling you guys about these little assholes? There they are. And they are... Oh god, there are two of them. Now they will appear on your roof on occasion, and that's some bullshit that I've had happen. Um, but they make little Ewok noises. We are on easy mode, so I'm not the wor most worried if I die, but I would still like to not die. Especially not from Ninja Gaiden. Um, especially when my health is and hunger are both bad right now. So first steps first, Ninja Gaiden's gotta go. Because, well, the slug creature, that rock creature, will go in the daytime. The Ninja Gaiden thing won't, but I'll show anything that's in front of me right now, so... Ninja Gaiden's gonna stare at the wall, that's fine. That just lets me screw up this thing. Would you die already? The fucking Naruto version of a Meow Mix commercial, isn't this motherfucker? Come on! Bring it! You cannot be on my roof. Are you kidding me, you little shit? Well. Gotta give him some credit. That's, uh, that's sneaky. That's very sneaky. I'm wondering if maybe I can get him to fall in over here. I don't know. What happens if I go in here? Does he teleport in? Nope, but he will. Oh, that's not good. All right, we're gonna we're gonna like we're gonna flee for now. <laughs> this is this is a new strategy called running. Perhaps you've heard of it. Um, God, it's not that they're the toughest. It's that I don't want to get hit in the back with one of those ninja cat stars while I'm in the middle of fighting that damn thing. I do wish there was some sort of missile weapon I could hit that effing cat with, because that's some bullshit right there. Oh, piss off, cat. Like, you should be that guy. Alright, well, we have other problems, because this is also the area that I often like to fish in. And now I have some dickhead cat up there. As you can hear, he's very pleased with himself, so... We're at least gonna cut some meat. Let's fix some meat, get my hunger down. Yes, yes. Let's also dump some stuff off in the house, shall we? I feel like that's... We could do with emptying our inventory just a little here with the ores, since these actually stay anywhere. Let's put them in here. And I need to plant that, but I can't plant it with Mr. Fuck Nugget up there, so. Let me see, how would I go about getting him up? Oh, uh, actually. All I really need to do. And I'm gonna wait and fish a little and eat and see if I can get my strength back up. Let's do that. But I have an idea, actually, that may work. Now, you'll see here... Nope, you will not see here. Where is my fish? Here? There it is. You'll see over there is a fish in the water. You can see them. And the way this works is we will be clicking here for the fish. We'll be reeling the fish in. We're going to try and reel in some fish. Now, there are other fish. You can get copper fish. You can get all sorts of other ones. 
Lab fish, you can cook two up for a heartier meal. I'm going to be a pig right now and just eat everything I catch immediately, no matter what it is. Probably not the smartest idea, but I don't really care right now. My guy is in severe need of food and help. He got a severe ass beating, so we're doing this. Uh, I will tell you I've discovered that if you don't get something right away here, and you can count to about 30 and nothing's happening, then it's definitely time to move on. I don't know if his little shaking paw means anything here. I don't know if that's like... Is he really pitching when he does that, or is that just for looks? I don't know. So I'm not sure. And you know what? We, we need to deal with this cat problem. I, I can't not... Let this little asshole hook up here. So this is how I'm gonna do this. We're gonna just edit this space. Get him right to hello. Please. Did that really not come? Oh yeah, every is still there, so that's why. I'm wondering maybe if I run in the other direction if I get his attention. Um, grab some meat. There he is. Okay, so he's the other way on that one. He's on the other this one right now. So this one I'll fix back up. Just some shit is just messing with me at this point. Oh, God, that was a rough one. Well, let's see what happens, shall we, once we do hit that, uh, that great meteor in the sky. Alright, we're there, we're there, we're here, we're here. Oh, my God. Gotta tell them piss off, and then I guess face plant. All right, so what can we bring to the party? We can bring some mass whoopery. Anything there? As much as I know, I'm gonna need the goo and the other stuff. Right now, I am still trying to get back to where the hell I was. So right now, that is a priority. Um, especially after dying, I will need to get to my demise site so I can retrieve my damn items. But killing that cat is going to be trickier than I thought. I think my best bet there, frankly, is going to have to be to rely on... Well, for one thing, these slugs can piss my ass, so can he. I need to find where I was. I need to find some semblance of bearing. If I can find it where I was, and I can figure where the hell I need to be. But I can't do shit without seeing that now. Oh, that's right, I did make 
I did make a huge, huge uh, thing there. Second mushroom, let's get it up. But I don't see my flagpole anywhere. Do you guys see a flagpole yet? I feel like this is like playing Dora. <laughs> Do you see it? I don't see it. Um, hello to the dev. Yeah. Those cat things? Little assholes. Please tell me that you plan to fix at least them hopping on the homes, or if they're gonna hop on, at least let them come back off or some shit, because that, that's a little crazy. Um, or I don't know, maybe there's a missile weapon I will get to make to shoot at them, I don't know. I feel like I should have some option, though, for a, a ranged weapon to get back at those little shits, if that's gonna be the case. Um... It just seems right. So, step... Oh, step one, guys. Oh, well, hello there. It's going to be trying to find home. Now, we know home is around here somewhere. And with the resources I've collected, and with this, I will have enough to build the last few rooms of home. And by not being an idiot this time, and watching my food better, we should be alright with that. That is literally the one thing in this game that kills me more than anything else, is that I am horrible with watching my food. And there is no excuse for it. There really isn't. There is no, like, I'm not making any... Uh, I'm not gonna bullshit you all and say that there's any reason. There really is no reason. It's stupid of me and I should not do it. And yet I do it. Why do I do it? I get too caught up in the middle of other things, and then I forget to watch my food, and then I, that's just what happens in this game. So yeah, literally it is sheer stupidity that causes me to not watch my food, and that is the honest truth. There is no better reason. There is no great motive for it. It is just flat-out stupidity that causes me to do this. But you notice I am going past a lot of creatures right now, and that is because I am trying very hard to figure out where in the hell I was. Mm. I will say one thing I think this game could benefit from as a map if it doesn't have it. Um, or maybe that's the point, not to have it, just to kind of get lost in the adventure, I don't know, but... That's to me being all philosophical. I'm probably being a little too philosophical about this, but... I, uh, yeah, I would like a map of some sort, I think would be good. Personally, that's just my own... Like, if I can improve something, I think a map would be nice. Even if it was for comedy, so you can tell you the wrong way to go on occasion, or a compass that was goofy, or told jokes. Something that fit into the world, obviously. This is a very comedy-centric world, and you wouldn't want something that seemed out of place, I get that, but... Oh, shit. Oh, look at that, guys. You see the little loop-de-loop -loop I did there? Um, but we're trying to go on this Let's Play journey. We're trying to survive. And I had a nice, lovely little home made. I don't want to have to start over. I will if I have to, but I don't want to have to. <laughs> So we're going to go both left and right on this and see what we can see. And I have a feeling this is going to be the least satisfying uh, Let's Play of the series, which I apologize for, because what I'll probably have to do off screen is go back and find the home for the next one. If you guys would rather I don't do anything off screen and just save it all for the Let's Plays, let me know. But for now, if I have an off-screen moment, it's probably going to be to try and find the home again. Um, you think there would at least be some marker where I died? Some, like, arrow would be good? Um, these are all just small suggestions, you know, but... One problem is it's hard to tell, because there are a few areas that look slightly like this. I do know one thing. You do not want to mess around in that water. 
Uh, I don't know if there is a boat option ever coming. I don't know if there's something that will handle that situation, but right now, there's some crazy stuff in that water that I learned the hard way about, and I don't value learning again. I learned my lesson there. The reason I'm pondering if I'm going the right way is because of the radioactive uh, area here, and the cat things only appear in the radioactive zone, which means technically my home on one side should have been bordering that biome to have attracted the cats in the first place. Now, I might be wrong. Might be wrong. I don't know. I don't see my home anywhere. <sighs> Which is really, really, really effing frustrating. I'm not gonna lie. I worked quite hard on that. I know there is a thing I can make that is like a teleporter, which would be lovely, but I don't have enough shit ready to make it. So yeah, for now we're just gonna grab some more wood, probably fancy smancy up the place a little. Um, Play it, die as much as I need to until I get back home. If I can get back home, even if I get back home with no tools, I'll manage. Now this looks promising, but I might be wrong. I saw one of these somewhat near my home, which this looks like an actual warp gate. I don't know. So if I go there, where will I come out? Well, I tell you what, let's see. Just get to like pick. Do we get to fly? What happens to me? Oh God. That was maybe not the best idea. Eh? Luckily, I was ready for the landing and stuck it. Champion right there. Champion. Alright, so, we are going to go the other way now. We have like creatures. This has turned into a bit of a walking simulator. I apologize. This is how you learn things. This is how you learn things. Uh, somebody had told me they do not like my voice with the mask on, but I hate to tell you this. The mask probably isn't really masking my voice, I just have a weird voice. Sorry! If this voice is not one you like, I don't know, I don't know what to tell you, man. Everybody's got a different voice, this is unfortunately the voice I was stuck with. I'm not the most thrilled about it either, but what can you do? Um... We'll see. We'll see. Not about my voice. We'll see if I find my damn way back. I feel like the red phone box is a better marker because I don't think they're everywhere. Oh, piss off. And maybe they are. Maybe I'm wrong. But I don't believe they are. But if I'm right on that, then my home should be... And you all remember those trees, you remember more of this area, so I think we're getting closer, guys. I'm gonna hope we're getting closer. That's what I'm gonna say anyway, that we're getting closer. My hunger's not doing great. I need to eat soon. Um, I could kill that pig thing and eat it, but right now I'm trying really, really, really hard just to get back home to where I was. I did not realize I built this far out from where I was. And what in the fudge is that? We're way off the track, guys. Way off the track. 
All these great enemies I gotta miss right now, because I'm busy looking for my damn home. But I am not playing right now. I'm desperately trying to find the house. The other thing I may very well do, if need be, and I just cannot find my home, is do a scratch, but I would not like to. I've seen other people do scratches. Um, or I might just call it the early end of the series. We'll see. Not out of rage or frustration, but because I feel like we, we've explored the game quite a bit. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm just not seeing anything that would indicate where my house is, which kind of sucks, because to me that was the whole point of the giant-ass flag pole in the first place, was it not? Was to see my home from anywhere? Um, so yeah. We'll see, we'll see. Kind of undecided right now what I will do with the future of Wrong World Let's Plays if I cannot find a home. Maybe I will build a new one. Maybe I will try and uh, wait and do some off screen playing and just come back to y'all once I find home, which is more than likely how I will do this. I usually do not give up so easily on these things, so you will find that I will, uh, I will try at least. Um, I really don't know where the hell I built it. I didn't think I built it this far out, but apparently I built it like in Nantucket or the British District of Columbia or California, but apparently it is way the hell out there somewhere. So if I can find it, that's lovely. If I cannot, then I am stuck with two choices. Choice one is to reboot start a brand new game and go from there, which is not really an option at this point. I don't want to have to do that. Um, if you've been following these, then you'll know why. It's just slightly frustrating after I've already played quite a few of these on uh, normal difficulty. I don't want to have to go back again and redo all that. Leaving the only other option as I see it would be, and I know I'm somewhere near a beach, like that type of area. And yes, I just saw a crate down there. I'm even leaving the crate for now. That's how desperate I am to get that crate. I'll probably get attacked by a sea monster, but I'm trying not to. Okay. Um, and I do not use cheat codes, console codes, trainers, any of this nonsense, so this is just pure luck and trying, guys. Pure luck and trying. This is ambition. Will I make it? Will I not? Can he do it, guys? Can he get back home? Is he doomed forever to wander? What shall happen to our little adventure? We don't know yet. Now that is that thing I was telling you guys about. I saw one of these weird heads. And this is new. This is a... Sword? Are the eyes leading me somewhere? The eyes lead here. He will talk. Whoa, shit. Whoa, he did something this time. Oh god, oh god, he's coming after me. The other one did not try to kick my ass. He is actively trying to kick my ass. The other one did not. What happens if I eat him? I don't know. Well, adventure found us, didn't it? Wait a minute. Come here. Okay, so he, he's not gonna... See, he's not gonna help me find or deal with the sword then. Alright. I was really hoping that that was gonna be like some great secret is that I just found it out. Okay, well. Now I know. Talking head, creepy as shit. And will kick my ass if I'm not careful. This is good to know. Um, yeah, I cannot really like me figure out where in the holy hell I went. 
Um, so we may even be rebuilding, depending on how well I do. Frankly, right now, I would rather get back home with no inventory, re-get my inventory, and deal with that than I would try to deal with this any other way. Only because of the fact that you waste a lot of resources building your home. Uh, and I have enough to build the last part of it, so I'd rather get that done, get my base of operations going. We are certainly going to break this crate, though, right now. The Quito B over here lets us. Alright, so what do we got? We got some of this. Got some more wood. Got some of this. Got some of this. Got some of this. Oh, a shovel is always good to have. We're better off than we were. We're not perfect, but we're better off than we were. Uh, it has got to F and be around here somewhere. I know you guys probably think I'm crazy for trying to trek all this way, but... Hey, baby. This is like an episode of Homeward Bound, just without the cute little animals, right? Instead, we got... I don't know what we got, but we got something. We need a little something here. We got a copper bar. We're definitely taking the copper bar. Uh, you can build a smelter in this, but having stuff already smelted for you free is a win-win in my book. I don't know what the hell all that was. Oh, shit. The sign's not good. I'm going to go ahead and believe those signs, but I need to not be around there. Basically, what I'm trying to do in this game is get as high as I can. That didn't sound right. Get to the highest point I can and see if I can figure out for the life of me where my damn home is. Where'd I lose my home? Where is my home? Does I have a home anymore? Is it gone? I really don't know. Uh, we're in easy mode, not normal. I have switched because I got slightly sick of having to rebuild everything every single time. And don't get me wrong, this is a fun game, and it's not as grindy as most games, but regardless, it can still be grindy if you've got to keep rebuilding over and over and over and over and over and over, and over, and over again, and eventually you're going, to, you're going to reach your limit. I don't care what game you play. Um, if you booby slap for 3,000, you're still going to reach your limit. I watch somebody go make that. I actually saw one that I put in a key for. I don't know if we're going to get it. But uh, it may be the first ever not safe for work let's play we do. I'd ha I would have to have it be one. There's no way I wouldn't. Haiti is the most requested not safe for work let's play. Uh, there are a ton of you out there who want a nude run of Haiti. Um, done. So that is one we're considering doing. The problem with that is there are like 90,000 skins for Haiti and outfits and all this other stuff. So to do you guys justice, I would like to find something particularly cool or neat for you guys that I could do with that. So that may be one we do, I don't know. Alright, now I'm starting to feel like I know where I'm at. Because I remember that exact stone, and I know you guys do too. So I feel like I'm not that far from home, actually. So, wandering enough, I think I'm going to find home. I don't know where I'm going to find home, but I feel like I'm going to find home now. Let's look a little, shall we? Not that way, not that way. Maybe down there, eh? What do you guys think? Maybe up there? No? No, no, no. no let's say down there. Why not any case? What I'm going to do for now, my people, is end it here. I'll get back to home, I'll build up the other two last spots, and we'll do another Let's Play. I'm Bones, thank you guys so much for watching, sorry for all the running. Uh, let us know what your guys' opinion on not safe for working is. Uh, should we make a separate playlist? Should we keep it in the same playlist? Our opinion now is to make them a separate playlist. That way it doesn't interfere with what you guys watch. So, let me know personally what you guys think of it. Um, thanks a lot for watching. I'm Bones. 
Uh, we will talk to you guys later. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't, and have a great day.